Hey folks, this is Vagrant, and welcome to our next playthrough. Today we're going to start Return of the Obra Din. This is a deduction, mystery, murder kind of game set on a ghost ship, the Obra Din. And our goal is, I believe, to figure out the fates of everyone aboard and what happened to the Obra Din. I don't know much else about the game. I'm really trying to go into this one blind, as has been advised to me many times. Um, it is a game I've wanted to play for a really long time here on the channel. I've never played it before. Funnily enough, I wasn't even going to play it today, but the other game I was recording has softlocked on me after about two hours, so whilst that hopefully gets patched, we're going to start playing the Oprah Din instead. Uh, I've changed a couple of settings, you can see it's got a very unique visual style. Um, it starts off in smooth, which looks like so, which I just eh, I prefer sharp, I think sharp looks cooler. And you can also change the colour to all these different sort of old school uh, vibe monitors. This is, sort of, this is how the game looks by default, but I think I prefer, I quite like Zenith, I think Zenith is quite nice. But I think the combo of IBM is good for me, and I think I prefer oops, it is IBM A503. And uh, we can also shrink this down so it looks like this, which is kind of wild. <laughs> but uh, we're going to roll with sharp, I think. I think that's uh, a good combo for me personally. And uh, right, let's go solve some mysteries. Here we go. Lost at Sea, 1803. I wonder if that rhymes on purpose. The good ship Oberdin. Built 1796 in London, 800 tons, 18 foot draft. Captain R. Witterell, crew 51 men. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous unmet. Contact East India City, London office for inquiries or testimony. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately. I've been to Falmouth and prepare a full assessment from the Honourable East India Company. Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the old bread inn. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Place to talk in a few minutes. Hey! How? So I'm just opening my uh, notepad. I've been advised that having a real-world notepad will be helpful in this game, so I'm going to just take some notes as we go along. Let's start. And then we're going to mute myself as I sneeze. Okay, Obra... I'm din. I don't know if we'll need that initially, but hey, good to have it. So here we are on the open sea. Actually, the ship is docked, but <laughs> on the uh, on the closed sea. Where's the Obra Din? Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. And up we go. I did load into the game briefly to uh, first edit the settings. I didn't realize you do it from the main menu. And interestingly enough, my character was male. So it seems to uh, fluctuate between the two. What a beautiful night. So what the hell is that? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, that's curious. But yeah, this is the Obra Dinn. It's a really interesting visual style. Very unique. Hello. There's a corpse, which is nice. I think it's meant to be flies buzzing around it, right? Yep, okay, we've got a dead dude. That's a good start. Let's have a little poke around the ship. No sharks or anything? Or well, maybe. What is that? You're throwing me for a loop, whatever. You, everything else is like relatively normal. Saying that, I thought we'd be docked, but I think we've been basically... So it's a ghost ship, it's returned, but it's still out there in the ocean. I think maybe those bits you can see over there without the stars and stuff are meant to be land. Oh, alright. Do, do you want a hand, buddy? I'll, I'll come back down. Um... What a really interesting visual style. It's kind of beautiful in a very strange way. <laughs> it really is. All right. Too heavy, you bloody slacker. Can I... Yeah, okay, space bar. The game hasn't told me a single thing about controls. <laughs> but hey, I like that. I love a game that doesn't want to hold your hand. It means the first couple hours tend to be quite confusing. Take it yourself or open it here. But hey, we always figure it out in the end, right? Anyways. Okay, we've got a book, a ledger or something, of some description. Oh, 
Okay, D A. I got a control. <laughs> Return of the Obradin, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy, 1807. Preface. I trust that you now found yourself, I don't know why I did a voice there, aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first, all will make sense in time. I've heard that. Like, yeah, it's going to be confusing for a little while. Stick at it, we'll get through it. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Okay, so we've got contents, the journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, a glossary in a back cover, and then we've got chapters. So, Atlantic leg of the Far East route from Falmouth, presumably, down past Madeira, Canary Islands, Cape Verde, west coast of Africa, and down to uh, Cape Town down there in the south. We've got deck plans over here, so, hello, ooh, we've got the main deck, captain's quarters, passenger cabins, looks like a sub, doesn't it? We've got the gun deck, assumably these are in order. Second mate, fourth mate, so this seems important. If, so I think the goal is to identify people and how they died, basically. So, for example, though, if we found a corpse in the second mate cabin, we could maybe assume it's the second mate. Bosun and Bosun... Bosun Niat, I don't know what those are. Stewards, midshipmen, we're gonna have to do some research. <laughs> Purser's office, passengers, port walk, gunner store, copters, starboard walk, surgery crew, captain's cargo, passenger cargo, Bosun's store, and a lazarette. Okay. Not D. Oops. The crew, complete crew and... Oh, okay. So we've got... See this? Yeah, okay. Accents, maybe? England, Scotland, Australia, Austria, France, Ireland, Poland, Italy, India, Sweden, Wales, Scotland, China, Top Man. Top Man. Seaman. I've got seamen everywhere. Lovely jubbly. About a thousand people have made that joke already. And... Oh, there are some women on board. I don't think there were. And this is our crew picture underway. So this is when it first kicked off. Formerson royalties. These are the Chinese group, I think. Justice at sea. Someone's been hanged. And then shot. <laughs> it seems like an unnecessary group. ES. What's going on here? What's going on? Degeneracy everywhere. Chapter 1. Loose cargo. On the cargo deck. A bit of cold. On the all-up deck. Murder outside the first mate's window. Okay. Now let's go to the end. Do, 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 do. How do I. Oh, that's how. Um, glossary. So, is this going to tell us head officer and commander of the ship responsible for directing the. Yeah, okay. We know. I mean, so what's a boatswain? Oh, boatswain. I've heard of it as a boatswain. A foreman in charge of general crew operations and the equipment required to sail the ship. Okay, gunner, obviously we know purser, money, yeah, cargo value, my small item store, surgeon, carpenter, helmsman, steward, midshipman. Officer in training assists various officers and tradesmen to learn ship operations, usually privileged, top man, top man, <laughs> higher rated seamen specialising in work above the deck in the sales and rigging. Okay, seamen do the, the low level manual labour. Rigging, main deck, all up deck, mid deck above the lowest deck containing storage cabins, animal pens and a ship's steering tiller. Okay, that's all probably going to be quite handy at some point. There's a spooky skull and tab to close the book. Oh, there's the spooky skull. Hello, spooky skull. <laughs> Hello, I am spooky skull. Memento mortem. Uh, memory of the dead. Rem yeah, remember death. Okay. I'll... What's going on with your head? That's a massive chin. Right, I'll see you later, buddy. I'm going to go... Record what happened on the Oberdeen. I want to say Oberdeen because it sounds a little bit better. I think it Oberdeen with the double I, uh, the double N though. Okay, so well, I've got a spooky pocket watch. Does that mean I need to go talk to the corpse? Yeah, the corpse is glowing as much as anything in this game can glow. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Captain, open the door. 
<laughs> ah, unless we break it down and take more than those shells. You Oh, it's the captain, and he's he shot someone. This sounds like there was a mutiny. So this guy's this is the dead guy, right? This is the guy we're trying to figure out. He's been shot through the chest by a flintlock pistol by Le Capitan, and then there's a guy with a stupid hat nearby who's kind of panicking about the situation. There's a mystical magical door. Oh, there's a dude over there as well. Hello, dude over here. Bold dude with a <laughs> knife between his teeth. Classic pirate nonsense there. Okay. Um, he sounded Gaelic. I'm gonna say this guy here, this guy, probably Scottish or Irish, at the very least. I was leaning Scottish, I think. Look at this. Very cool. Okay, good shot. That's probably the thumbnail. This game is gonna be horrendous for thumbnails. My god, it's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Some games are made for thumbnails and some games really aren't. This is not one of them. But hey. Okay, what's going on? Oh, we, are we working our way backwards? So this is a mutiny. There's three people involved. This took place between... So maybe on the return trip from the Cape. Location of the corpse. Three others were present. And this is the guy who died. Didn't have his hat on when he died, though. Who is this? How did they die? Okay, well, we know what happened. Oh, okay. Alive? Uh, oh, alive. Interesting. Oh, there's options, though. Ah! Crushed by... <laughs> crushed by... Oh, God, I hope someone gets crushed by a beast. <laughs> Struck. Hooves. Suicide. Shot. Okay, well, he was shot by a gun, right? By... Robert Ritual, who's the captain, yeah? Unknown sort. So there, there, there. Ooh. This person's face appears blurred throughout the book. This blurring indicates you don't yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now, as it was. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay. Ooh. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. First memory. Perished in the end, part one. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. <laughs> Use the buttons at the top to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. Show memories on deck map. Ah, right, okay. Okay, three others were present. So I think that's... That's the captain, isn't it? Is that the captain? That's the guy who died. That's the guy next to him. And that's the bald guy. With the, yeah, so that's the captain there. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. Yeah, because, yeah. Use the book in the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You'll have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. It sounds like I'm going to bloody need it. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's Captain Robert Ritterwool. Ritterwool? So, yeah, we're, we're, we're started. So, they're blurry, which means I can't know who they possibly are with the information we currently have, which is good. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Okay. So there's the captain. Hatless. So there's nothing on him. I mean, I would say clothing-wise, this guy looks... This guy looks like an officer in training or something. He's clearly not like an average worker, is he? I should be make. This is the kind of thing I think I need to be writing down notes for. Um, How do I label him? Corpse 1? <laughs> like, what else do I call him other than Corpse 1? But he's clearly... 
of higher status of some description. He's not like a worker, worker, worker. He looks, he looks officery, officery to me. C1 equals higher status. So I've got that down. The guy next to him, the stupid hat, does not appear to be the same. He looks like a worker, given his clothing. And this guy over here, probably the same. Can I sprint? No. What an unusual game this is. Yeah, he looks like a worker, doesn't he? Oh, I can leave for the door now. Okay. Okay. I can see this getting very, very complex. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm, I'm all in for. Oh, that door's opened. Okay, I guess that's where we're going next. So this... These are crew quarters, right? Here? I think so. Oh. Uh, give that a good old tug. Okay, so... Hello. This is stupid hat man. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Oh, damn. So who's the third? I heard three voices there, didn't I? So third per oh, hello. Wait, <laughs> is that the bald? That's the bald knife guy. Okay. So the guy who just died was the other guy, the guy with the silly hat. There's. I don't, I don't know your name, but this guy has been knifed through the neck. Captain's probably okay. I think that's just a stick. He's not getting stabbed or anything. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. If, I don't think the captain's dead. Fill my pistol on the ground there. Can I do anything here? Oh. 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 There he is. With his dumb little hat. I don't know why I hate his hat so much. It just looks like a beanie style hat. It's fine, but I hate it. Okay. Two others were present. So, where are they? The, the shells or something? Is it they're, they're after the loot and the captain's saying he's thrown it overboard? This guy sounded British, or uh, English to me. Well, they got they got stabbed. Is just stabbed? Killed? Knifed. There we go. Knifed by Robert Ritterwall. And the other guy present was this guy up here. I don't know what happens with this guy. He's on a little adventure, but... I leave now. Yeah. Okay. I can, I can kind of see how this how this works. We need more information though about all of them. <laughs> I should be writing down everyone's accent. I think. Oh, hello. Course number three. I wonder if this is the bold guy. So we're kind of building up a timeline here. He attacks first. So the, they he gets the, the there's a mutiny from three of them. The bald guy goes up there to try to jump over the side with the knife to attack the captain from behind. These two approach from the door. The captain shoots the first one. The second one goes in, and the captain takes him out with a knife. Open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant page. Oh, right. So this takes me to... Oh, that's handy. All right. Corpse. I just need to figure out the identity of like one person so I get a feeling for how the game is, you know, for what we're doing here. Let's check out number three. Oh, that. God, the, the captain's a baller. <laughs> he really is. So then we heard him gurgling and bleeding out. This is bold, dude. Oh, Captain's taking a, a knife to the side, though. So bold guy has a beard. There he is.
Open the book while examining to flip directly to the sketch. Okay. There's the captain. Okay. Where's the... Uh... Well, I don't know yet, do I? Where's that guy? Oh, he's there. Hmm. I'm confused. With the others, I could add information. Oh, is it, I think I just have to sit in the scene for a certain length of time, and then it's going to kick me. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, we know how they died. They were... What would you call it? Struck? Well, not with who's a tail or a wing. Um, I don't... Hmm. Clubbed, I guess, by which wall who's racking up the deaths, it must be said. <laughs> Another door's opened. Yeah, you take clubbed, clubbed in the head. Okay, so I don't think I'm meant to be able to figure out who any of these people are quite yet. We've got a little bit of information, a clue here and there. But, oh, hello. Okay, that's corpse number four. I wonder if that's Whitterell after he bleeds out. So there's been a mutiny. He's taken out all three of his attackers. But then maybe he goes into... Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Let's, let's keep going in order. Abigail. Your brother. My friend. I shot him. Oh. Dead. I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. Abigail. Looks like a nun or something. Okay, so ah, that's 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 a very pertinent information we've just been given. So the captain shoots himself in the stomach. Let's see if there's anyone else in the area. I don't think so. I think this is probably the final thing that happened, right? Dude, dude. I hope someone gets eaten by a shark. <laughs> that's all. I just want one person to be eaten by a shark. You know. So this is Abigail's brother, so that means we should be able to find his identity and Abigail in the book when we get out of here. I don't think anything else happened right away. I get the feeling that like the ship is basically empty at this point, other than these few people. I think Abigail's probably already dead as well. I suspect this is like a, a baby's introduction to how you'd work something out. Like, it's not always going to be that obvious. Okay, well, we finally, we know what's happened to someone. Suicide by gun. Captain Robert Ritual shot himself. This may or may not be correct. <laughs> okay. Fates are validated in sets of three. Cle correctly identify at least three people in their face with the information type set into the book. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I'm going to choose to believe I'm correct. I mean, obviously I'm correct. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Uh, right, what I need to do is... Um, we need the crew manifesto. Abigail. Abigail, Abigail, Abigail. Abigail with...
Oh, of course. She took... Oh, I was thinking they'd have the same last name, but obviously they don't. <laughs> so Abigail married. Right, Abigail Scottish. That's good though. That I mean, I thought the first guy might be Scottish. So the fact that Abigail is Scottish does support that idea. Right? Where's my notepad? Yeah. Let me leave this up in the crow. Okay. So C1, corpse one, high status, married Abigail. Maybe Scottish. Well, I'm just going to write that Abigail equaled married captain. Of course, she took his name. Oh, wait, no, she's. Yeah, but she's Abigail Hoscutt. Maybe she kept her. Oh, she did, yeah. Right, so this is William Hoscutt. Oh, never mind then. Okay, so this. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's this guy, right? Yeah, sweet. Okay, so we if we do one more, we've got it. So yeah, yeah, he's he's Scottish. He's the first mate. You know, he's higher profile. Hoscott. I just the only concern I had was that I picked the right guy. On the on the page, but yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy about that. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, if we can find out how Abigail died, we should have our first three, shouldn't we? What's going on? Okay. Ah. So I think we've finished that chapter. And that's where the final chapter took place. Abigail. Ta -da. Oh god. Oh oh wow, okay things are Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay, there's a Kraken attack. <laughs> Apparently. That was unexpected. Raging storm, Kraken attack, water spilling over the side of the ship. She comes out as the Kraken knocks down the thing and it bashes her in the head. The captain's below deck. That's Martin, I think, probably. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all, Jesus. Okay, a bunch of people in the area. Are they Chinese, maybe? That could be the Chinese lot right there. Insanity. I think that's probably Martin. Chapter 7, The Doom. So this took place... Oh, yeah. The corpse has moved post-mortem. Who is this and how did they die? Ten others were present. Well, we know we know this information. So this is, um, where is she? Abigail, and she was crushed by rigging. Hey, nice. Ah, oh, good, good stuff. It's just good to know that you can, you've got the basics down, you know. <laughs> Okay. 
Whoa. What's going on here? Are you guiding me to a corpse or? Ah, oh god, you've been cut in half, son. <laughs> oh, he didn't get cut in half. He got ripped in half by the Kraken. Jesus. Oh, he's got... Like, Samoan tattoos or something. Dude! <laughs> what the heck? Literally torn in half by a Kraken. That's awesome. You can see... Innards. His intestines there. Bloody hell. Of other people died already. I mean, you're dead, whoever you are. Is she down here somewhere? I think she's been dragged inside. Oh, hello. It's a goat. He's thrown him a gun. He's Jewish, maybe? Hmm. Is that Martin? I think that might be Martin. Well, they were... Torn apart. By... Beast. Yeah. Okay, is there anyone from... Hmm, interesting. Unknown passenger. Is there anyone from, like... Samoa or something? New Guinea? That's the only one that makes sense to me. We can leave that. That's going to be my... That's my first assumption, my first guess, right? Um, but it looks New Guinea. It looks like that. It looks Polynesian in terms of the tattoos. So that seems to make sense to me. But obviously, if we have two more after this, then we'll, we'll know if we're correct on that one. What's going on here? <laughs> Game gone wild. All right, all right. Where do you want me to go next? So that's Maba, or whatever his name was. Where are you taking me, ghost? What am I looking at? I, I can't tell. Jesus, is that the corpse? Did he... <laughs> right, he's running up with loads of guns. What the heck? It's so hard to pass what you're looking at when it looks like this. I think that's a guy exploding in the middle of there. I think that's the implication anyway. I think you're English. Throw the powder! Pip pip. It's very English sounding. 
So I think he got picked up by the Kraken and then the powder went off. You can see the guy there. You can see like the shape of the corpse. He's got like coattails, so he's definitely a higher up. He's like an officer or some description, I think. Figuring out how they died is also the easy part. It's everything else that's difficult. Is there an exploded? Yeah. The door just opened. So it's weird because it's like I'm in a longer memory, but I think I just got out. Back to normality, maybe? As much as this game has normality? Yeah, okay. Okay. So, you're the explosion guy. You're the ripped in half guy. And she was out here somewhere, but obviously she got dragged inside. So we've got six so far, but we only know three identities. Don't know who you are either. You're the bald dude with the beard. You're the captain. You're Abigail. Okay. Um, so it's worth having a look. To seeing if any of the faces are not blurred. Like, like the game is telling me that I do not have the information to figure out who these people are at this point in time, right? Like, the game's not expecting me to know who these people are, which is reassuring because I don't have a bloody clue. <laughs> so, we can uh, begin to explore a little bit more. How am I saving this game? I just auto saves whenever I open, I think. Games really need a hard save. The, like I said, I was playing The Invincible, was the other game I was playing, and it soft locked on me after two hours because there's an auto save that auto rewrites your existing save. I couldn't even load like an older save, otherwise, I'd just done that. But I couldn't. So now I have to wait for them to patch it. It's frustrating, I was really enjoying it as well. Okie dokie, so we're down here on the second deck for the first time. And there's a lock on there. Okay, I didn't see there was a little lock icon on those doors actually. See the cannons and a dead. Oh, crushed to death by a cannon. Okay, hello, buddy. Da dum. Oof. Okay, this is still during the Kraken attack because obviously we're on that chapter. Is that a person in there? <laughs> I think two people maybe got taken out by that cannon. I, th I think that's Martin. People are having a hard time with it. I need to check who Martin is on the uh, thing, actually. That would help. Martin. Yeah, third mate. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's mine. So when we find out how he dies, we'll we'll have that one ready to go. You, buddy. Is, is that someone there? I can't tell if that's the corpse. Which is the corpse I was looking at? Is it that one or is it the other one? I think it is that one on the right. No, it's not. Okay. Well, they died. Uh, crushed by a cannon. There you go. Game. You're very ominous when you do this, you know that. Looks like I lost his head. That guy looks like he's lost his head. Oh. 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 <laughs> Where are you taking me, game? The guy over here? 
So this is a guy who I believe, believe has lost his noggin. Are you nogginless? You do look nogginless. Have you considered not being nogginless? Whoa. <laughs> This is developed by one guy, by the way. As far as I'm aware, it's pretty crazy. Jesus, that noise. Oh! What ha Wait, what happened there? Oh, the cannon went off. So the Kraken grabs the cannon. The cannon fires. Blasts that guy away and takes his head off in the process. Took a cannonball to the head. It's pretty intense. That fuse? Okay, whoever said the fuse wasn't English, I give them that much. There's someone on there as well. Got crushed by the cannon. Oh, that's Thingy from what it says. Mabu, whatever his name was. Two guys there, and they're knocked back by the blast. Someone got crushed by it. It could be Martin. I don't see Martin in the area anymore. Did not expect a Kraken attack. I know I've said that before, but it's worth repeating. Oh, two people. Oh, the two people die. Oh, is this the other one who got the one who got crushed? Oh, I don't know then. I'll have to come back and look for a hat. That's our first double death. This is interesting. May take me game. Da dum. Chapter eight, the Doom Pot Five of Eight. Oh, is that me clicking? Yeah, I think so. I'm meant to know who anyone... Oh, okay. Interesting. Both of these women are meant to be able to be named. I've got enough information to figure out who they are, apparently. That's curious. And him. Well, I think that's Martin, isn't it? I don't know how he died, but I think that is Martin. How am I meant to know who these women are, though? That's interesting. So, I mean, Abigail's dancing with her. She's an older woman, whoever that is. God, Abigail looks terrifying. <laughs> um, let me have a look at the list here. Oh, there's three triangles. What does that mean? A deduction rating. A higher rating means it'll be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on easily deduced identities first and leave. Ah, oh, okay. So we could, in theory, get it, but we shouldn't. Yeah, same with her. Okay. I don't know how you... Oh, wait, I know what I'm doing. There's a door. Where's the door? It's over here, isn't it? I've opened up the wrong one, basically. Okay. I think the watch wanted me to look at someone... Over here. Da -dum. Aim level. Ready. Squish. Jesus Christ. The noise effects are brutal. This way, this guy got crackened. Crushed between the cannon and the Kraken's arm, which is particularly vicious. These two get knocked away. At least one of these is Scottish. I'm not sure which. I don't think there's anyone else in the area. 
There's all these over here. Oh, that's hat guy. And that's bald guy. There's Papua New Guinea guy. Not what was he? New Guinea? I don't remember. Okay. Is there any more information I'm meant to be deducing from this scene? They're in order. Um, we saw it said five of eight, so it's probably worth like trying to track exactly what happened in what order. And down here. I think we're going backwards, that's the same. Well, we know how they died. They were crushed. Five. Ah. I think that's probably the best option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm pretty comfy with that. See you later, lads. Okay. Do I know who you are? Yeah, you're crushed by a cannon. Oh, this door's opened. Oh, hello. Someone right at the front. Whatever it's called. The front. <laughs> Okay, am I meant to... So I just want to have a little look at the map. At the, uh... The crew. It's hard to tell if I'm meant to know who anyone is, because I have to go over each picture to find out. I don't think so. I can't think of any, like, super pertinent information I've had that would help me. Except Martin, obviously. Don't know what, we don't know what got Martin, do we? I don't think we do, anyway. We're looking for an older, bearded gentleman. Oh. Two. Inter oh, wait. No. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Only a two difficulty on that guy. I think we'll probably save until... Just, just, just interesting. Worth keeping an eye on. Only a two. Instead of a three. Hmm. Okay. What occurred at the bow? Is it the bow? The pointy bit. <laughs> it's defecating, seemingly. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crushed by a beast. Went to the front to defecate. I think this might have been... Yeah, this is clearly close to the start when the attack happened, because it's not really... Like, he's asleep, whoever this is. This guy's looking over like... What? Well, we should check, though, right? So some of them will be... They'll be gunners, right? And whoever's sleeping key on the right... Actually, oh, this is actually really helpful. We might be able to check. There's two people sleeping here. Someone hanging out over here. Okay. But yeah, having the beds here probably helps. It's Martin. Lots of sleepy people. Quite a lot, actually. I don't know if they, they, it's not a cabin though, so I don't know if it's going to be named, but what we should be doing then is just looking at gunners for names, which I, I, I guess is pretty obvious in a way, but. Lots of people crushed by this. Hey, it's the bow. <laughs> 13 others were present, Jesus. They were crushed by beast. So they'd be midshipmen, would they? Topmen? I don't know, actually. Topmen, I think. Or seamen? There's no gun. Well, there's gunner's mate. So someone down here, gunner and the gunner's mate are probably two of the people down here. I haven't heard. Mm, maybe I have heard an accent that would suggest Austrian or Polish. I'm not sure. Oh. We've been guided. Where do you want me to go, game? 
Someone up there. Do you want me to go upstairs? Do you want me to go upstairs? I wonder why it does this. Why, why it sometimes it's like, right, you will go and you will inspect this very specific corpse. Interesting. Been found. He's kind of like kneeling overboard. Two people around him. Oh. Back upstairs. Yep, come on you. Come on, ghosty. This way. Is it you? What's it? I think it's you. No, it's down here. Okay. I don't know, it's the implication that these two are connected somehow. Okay. So, is that the bald guy from the? I don't know. So these guys have arrived to the boat, trying to get on. He's obviously already on the ship, giving his shirtless and stuff, and he's Danish, whoever he is. And this guy, his brother died by rope. His brother died, something to do, it was an accident, seemingly, but the Dane was involved somehow. Okay, that feels like something I need to write down. Um, I'm not sure how to describe what's occurring there, but we'll figure it out. <coughs> uh, Dane. I'm hoping there's only one Danish guy involved in accident with rope killing guys brother I mean I don't know how many brothers there are there probably aren't that many well he got clubbed in the head I would suggest well no he did get clubbed in the head clubbed by someone who's a brother I'm just looking I mean, I'm not going to pick anyone right now but I'm just going to look for uh um, identical last names. Peters. Nathan Peters and Samuel Peters. I don't see... Okay, that's probably it. So, one of, so if we find one of these who's died by rope, and we can figure out... Basically, if we find out one of them, we can find out both of them. I don't see any others. Okay, that's interesting. Um, let me write that down as well. The Peters brothers. One's killed by rope, one murdered. So whoever killed, whoever's killed by rope, they have one murdered. Thing. I think if they're Peters, I can't see any others. Uh, is anyone else from Denmark? Is it only Lars? It's only Lars. There we go. Oh, we don't know who killed him though. That's, that's in the way. I mean, I could guess one of the Peters. Don't seem like I'm to know yet. Um, these two were arriving, so they're passengers. You would assume. Was was thinking listed. Who's a seaman? Interesting. I guess they would just restart. Hello, go. <laughs> I guess they just had more people arriving. Hmm. Chapter seven: The Doom. What's that mean? <laughs> who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Oh, God. Seven wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Okay. 
Oh, that, see, the interest, that one's got, oh, that's three, okay, so we can just look, though. Oh, go, take me back, take me back. Oh, we've missed bargain, oh, right, okay, that makes sense. Okay. Where's that lovely page I just saw? I want that lovely page again. Ah, here we go. Seven way with souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. The fates cataloged here. Who's this? Who is this? There's a couple of twos, but there's no one. I think I, I, I hold off until there's a single triangle, basically. Oh, right. This is the unknown chapter. Interesting. So we're never going to find out what happens between the two. You're blurry, you're blurry. Okay. Now, it is a two, so I'm probably not going to go for it, but I'm just trying to think, what have I seen that would suggest who these people are? Is it an accent thing or something? He's in three memories, this guy. And he died in this chapter, so there's deaths in this chapter that I haven't recorded. Most of them don't have their... F oh, no, wait, no, no, that's not the case. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, because I have recorded some deaths in this chapter, but I think until I actually get it right... But no, I mean, Abigail died in the Doom. Oh, right, so some of them are marked and some of them aren't, I guess. Yeah, now I'm confused. ES, why are you only marked as ES? Who's ES? The person who wrote the book. I saw that. So is it Edward Spratt? Is it the artist who died? It must be, right? It makes sense. I mean, that makes the most sense. Yeah, he says his signature. Okay, cool. That means we've got another one done. All right, cool. Okay. Um, right. So I feel like we've done this area. Also, we need a bit more information. Information. That's still locked over there. This is where... Nope, nothing happened here. Okay, so can I drop down the floor maybe? Or... What's going on? So you're the Dane. You're the one who got clubbed. You... Don't remember who you are, frankly. I don't think it matters quite yet. You're the defecating lad. Got crushed by the beast. I think we need one more guest, don't we? To uh, verify, because we've had the Polynesian guy and we've had the artist. Who are like two full guesses, but they're the only two full ones we've got. So we need one more and then we'll have three. Can I... Okay... I think these rooms and like knowing where people sleep and stuff, it's probably it's probably based on that, like the sleeping arrangements of some description. Okay, hello. You have a lot of bones. So for example, right, 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 right. Before we click this person, what we're gonna do is just have a look at where we are relative to the uh So you come down Facing forward, it's the First room on the left? Oh, there's blood outside. And a knife. A dead person. They seem connected. Okay, but if I just hop into the... So... So is this the midshipman? Is that saying where I am? Yeah, this is the midshipman. 
There's only one midshipman, isn't there? Oh, no, there's loads of them. But I, I, we need to use this more, I think. But I guess a lot of the rooms haven't been listed like this. It wouldn't have been easy to do at this point in time. Let me just go back to the start. How many midshipmen are there? I think there's a few. There's three. So, this dead person in front of me is probably one of these three here. Now, there's only, as far as I can tell... There's three beds in here. I guess there is. One, two, three. Okay, so yeah, you're one of the, probably one of the three midshipmen. We shouldn't commit to that as an idea before we see what happens, but it's it's a it's a thought. That narrows things down a little bit. Um very strange game. <laughs> um <clears throat> Excited to dig into it and see what the story is. Yeah, it's definitely unusual and um I don't know, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah. I don't really have much else to say. Thank you very much. Very, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you, lovely folks, very soon. Cheers, much love as always. Bye bye.